Hi, and thanks for stopping into the MMA portion of our site. I'll tell you a little bit of our perspective on MMA and our school, and our dojo, and, and how we, we view the training. And it can best be summed up in this phrase, real martial arts, when taught well, is enough. And here's what we mean by that. A real martial art program, our program, emphasizes kind of a broad brush. It helps you with conditioning. And in fact, tremendous conditioning. It helps you to be able to do practical application. In addition to that, it teaches you the specifics. It teaches you how to do an arm bar. It teaches you how to do guillotine choke or rear naked. It teaches you how to kickbox and move your body and move your head. And in addition to that, it also teaches you how to mentally control your mind, discipline your mind, so that your, your, your mental perspective and your understanding of the philosophy of real martial arts is honed as well. All of those things will form the bedrock in order for the select few students that want to go on and participate in MMA sport. But a real martial arts program is also sort of a broad brush we have the young 19, 20 year old person that comes in that really does have that dream of wanting to step into a cage and do MMA. And we think we've got a place for you. And we have the 40 something year old accountant that hasn't trained in 20 or 30 years but really wants to get in shape. Can't meet with clients with a black eye or with an injured elbow or something like that. And we believe that we have a place for you too. But the way it works is, is there's two forks in our program. There is the base program that everybody participates in. And that's one of the reasons for that is because the program is real and because the conditioning is real, it suits itself very, very well for our MMA team members. But then in addition to that, for those that want to exercise heavier contact, particularly application, free rolling, all of those kinds of things, then we also have our MMA class on a specific designated night, three times a week typically, where guys can come in and they have the opportunity to do that type of training. But the other interesting thing about it is we believe that real application is important for everybody. And so that's why we provide lots of mat time where people can get together and spar and so on. The biggest difference between the MMA training and the regular training is MMA is very specific to the sport and the contact has a tendency to be much heavier. Whereas regular training, you can do practical application, you can do free rolling, you can do free sparring, but you can sort of agree to do a lighter application so that you can get the feel for it, you can get the training of it, you can get to a much, much, much higher level, but you're not training to get in a cage with anybody. We think that we do a good job supplying a base for both of those groups of people, but we do want you to know if you're the kind of person that says, well, I don't want to receive training. I don't want to become a student of the martial arts. I just want to fight. Our suggestion is just Google fight promoter of Toledo, Ohio, or wherever you happen to live. And believe me, you'll get a lot of names. And they're trying to fill cards. And they'll be more than happy to fix you up for the fight. But if you're looking for a real place to train, where you want to be part of things, where you want to be part of a group, really maybe even part of what seems almost like a family, then we just might be the best shot for you. So if you have any questions, give us a call. Please feel free to check out the remainder of the site. And thanks for listening. Have a great day.